So I haven't been the leader on this movement at the Oakland City Council. It has been Rebecca Kaplan and Larry Reed lately who have done the lion's share of the work on this issue. But I saw that it was being stalled. Um, primarily by our city attorney's office um, and not moving this issue forward. And so I took up drafting some amendments to the ordinance to try and shore it up and move it forward. Um, the amendments that I'm proposing will be are on the agenda for this coming Tuesday. Um, it is a place to start the dialogue and to move it so we can actually get to implementation of an ordinance and, and actually be about the business of allowing large scale all cultivation to take place in the city of Oakland. Um, there was much hype in the media about um, the feds being concerned about our cultivation ordinance that was passed last year. There was never any formal communication um, to any city council member from the feds with respect to our cultivation ordinance. Um, if you read the articles, and there was one that said DEA warns city of Oakland that their cultivation ordinance is illegal. And then you go into the article itself and it says that no representative from the DEA ever made a comment about the article, that the only spokesperson throughout the article about all the ills of our cultivation ordinance was our city attorney, John Russo. Um, that's really problematic. Um, and so it has been very interesting watching this process. Um, so I took up drafting the amendments to the ordinance because I think it's important that we take this next step and that Oakland has always been on the forefront of pushing the envelope with respect to um, this 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 industry and, and that we need to push to take it to the next level. That said, um, the amendments that I propose don't touch the existing dispensary ordinance and I need to put that on the table first and foremost because there are a lot of people concerned that um, I've changed the law with respect to the existing dispensaries. We do not. We actually are drafting, there is a draft of a deemed, what we call a deemed approved ordinance that would leave those in place, grandfather them, and then set up another system that allows for a hybrid of cultivation and dispensary um, that has to take place in order to comply with the Attorney General's uh, the Attorney General's guidelines and the Compassionate Care Act. And so that's what the proposal that I'm um, authoring and proposing for Tuesday night seeks to do. It, it allows for two locations, one that would do cultivation, one that would allow for dispensary. It would have tracking mechanisms. It would provide that 70% of the cannabis that is grown is grown at this site. Um, it would provide for Glasses. The closed loop relationship, it would cap our square footage. You know, one of the things we heard about is that the lack of any cap um, was problematic. And so we put in this particular ordinance a 50,000 square feet cap as opposed to an unlimited cap. Um, basically, we want to provide a fr framework that provides us some legal um, comfort. And I think that this draft does. Um, I've learned over the last couple of days, because we only released it in the last couple of days, that there are some concerns about the tracking mechanism. And, and, and I always say to people that when I author um, legislation, it's the starting point, not the end point of conversation, because you have to start a conversation somewhere. And so I'm open to suggestions, um, not saying that I'm going to agree with every suggestion, <laughs> but I'm open to suggestions and, and willing to listen. And so we have some time between now and Tuesday when we'll ultimately take this item up to, to incorporate things. I had a good conversation with Jeff Jones this morning, and so he, he made me aware of an issue that I wasn't aware of. I am very clear that there are many things about this subject that I know nothing about. And so it has been a constant educational process for me. And so to the extent that I can continue to learn and incorporate some of those things, it is helpful to me and ultimately gets us to a place where we have legislation that is going to be beneficial for um, the community um, that desperately needs to have safe access to um, medicine because that's what we're talking about here. And that's my goal, first and foremost, to make sure that we provide safe access. 
and that's why I believe that it's important that Oakland continue to push the envelope and make sure that we get this cultivation um, uh, ordinance passed. And so on Tuesday, if people are going to come to the meeting, I hope you come with a framework on how we move this forward rather than how we oppose something, because it's easy to oppose something. It's much more difficult to pass something that ultimately will, will benefit all of us. Thank you so much.